In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys an assignment tracker so you can see your to-do list for the week and semester, an automated grid calculator, automated space repetition tracker, and a cool website that's Anki times Notion times Quizlet where you can have the most effective study sessions. Hope you enjoy! Hello everyone and welcome to this Notion tour where I have tried to find the best Notion templates on school and put them all into one master template and I'm sharing it with you guys so that all of you can benefit. I put a lot of time and effort into this so I would really really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe, like, and comment and remember that the Notion template is linked down below. Hope you enjoy! Okay, so let's get started. Right off the bat, we can see the academia vibes, the weekly course schedule, and under that, there's the weather widget where I can see the next three days, and I'm currently in London, so that's where it's located in. And then you can see the days of the week and the courses I have every single day, and there's a location button too, so you can put your Zoom links, and these aren't actually my courses for this sem, but this is just an example. Here we can see the master assignment schedule too, so you can see there's the class, the status, and the weight you can put. And this is an option where you can see everything you have for that specific semester. So these are the, some of the courses. Here's some statuses you can have about if it's an assignment, a deadline, a quiz, the weight of the specific task, what it is, the deadline, and then it's an automated reminder that goes according to the deadline status so if it's overdue which means it's past the due date you have that fun emoji there's the alarm emoji if it's due today and it just automatically changes by itself which i adore and then my favorite feature is that you can make it so that you only see the tasks you have to do that specific week and if you press done they disappear so you don't have to think about it anymore and you only see your undone tasks so i think that's really good for productivity there's also a calendar view so you can visually see all the tasks you have to do and you can really really easily add one as i'm showing it here you just add what class it's from what the deadline is well i mean it's a calendar so it's already embedded but you can have some notes the status of it and once again the weight so very simple and it's just there and even if you go to the semester to-do list, you can see it pops up there too. So very, very intuitive. What I like to do is also put a reminder on the day of the event so I get a notification from Notion so that I don't forget to do it, which is amazing. You can also see at the bottom all the courses I have. And this is the health I want, for example. Here you can put your professor, your TA, their emails, the office hours, and if you go to the bottom you can see there's a portion where you can see only the assignments you have for that specific class so it's linked to the main assignment tracker we had on the main page but the difference here is that once you actually do a task it stays here so that you can see all the tasks you have done and still need to do for every course i have a link to my university website which i use often and there's a place where i can embed the course syllabus so you can either put a link there or embed the pdf this isn't actually my <laughs> syllabus it's actually just a reading i had to do for one of my classes but this is just an example of what it looks like and it makes it very easy to access and then the second thing we have here is a grade calculator so this is super super cool because you can put in all the assignments you're gonna have when they're due what grade you get for that assignment but also the weighting so that's just the sum has to be out of 100 and the teacher calculates that and the weight of the project so right now the average is 91 but if you remove for example an assignment you have to make sure the sum of the weighting is 100 but then you can see how your average changed to 88.75 so it actually works and it's really useful because you can predict your mark and not need to depend on your teacher and when they submit it and let you know. So I got this idea from Ali Abdal regarding his space repetition tracker, but I wanted to make it better and automated. So we have this. So here you put down the date you learned the specific concept, and then there's four different repetitions that you 
have to do it in so you fully get some brain into your system there's a note section and then a level of comfort where you can essentially put how many stars for how comfortable you are with the topic you can also choose to write down your notes directly in here if that is something you like but let me just show you this process so let's say you haven't practiced it yet it shows that you next time you have to study is january 5th but then after your second repetition is January 24th, after your third repetition is February 8th, after your fourth one, it disappears because you've studied it enough and you do the same thing. So you can see that the next repetition date actually changes. And what you can do if you like is actually make it into a reminder so you get a reminder of the day of. And here I'm just showing how you can change the number of stars you put to the right to demonstrate your level of comfort. Okay, so let's go see some other course examples we have. We have another health side one I'm showing you and how the images are different and another one let's go into psych I really like the picture on the top actually but something that I want to show you is actually this link so I saw Ali Abdal's video where he talked about why he loved notion and taking notes there because of the toggle feature and then my friend actually recommended remnote which is notion times quizlet times Anki so you can see all the notes you have but then if you actually use the toggle feature you can see all your answers and my favorite part is that there's a spaced repetition section where you can test your own skills and use active recall which is one of the best techniques alongside the spaced repetition one and you just put how comfortable you were with trying to think of the answer and it changes when it will give you that same question again based on your level of comfort which i absolutely adore and it's just really easy and neat which i love so feel free to check it out i have a link in the description below to sign up okay I also have a club section and if you want and have different classes you can actually press the new template and this all comes up I've made it so it's super super easy for you guys if you ever want but I'm gonna delete it because it's not the aesthetic right now <laughs> so here we also have the general information that you can add if you forget like me and there's some Spotify playlists at the bottom to listen to some music and that wraps it up Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and check out the template in the description. Bye!